It is one of Maine's great holiday traditions, the Portland Symphony Orchestra's The Magic of Christmas. It's underway and it's going to be going until December 18th. There are six shows yet to come. With us here on 207 to talk about them are Eckhart Proy, the conductor and musical director of the Portland Symphony Orchestra, and Nick Ziobro, who is the guest vocalist this year for Magic of Christmas. Thanks both for coming in. Good to have you here. Thank you got you. your red shirt on. Are you in the holiday spirit? Absolutely. <laughs> Can't you tell? Yeah, it's the first time I'm wearing this, actually. Yeah, it's nice. Feels good. good. Yeah. You like doing holiday shows, don't you? You like, because you have a lot of energy yourself, and I'm guessing that you sort of feed off the energy that you get from the audience. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it, is, it is really uh, so great to have all these people there, and it's, it's, it's as close to a party as, as we as we come, and it's, it's such a great communal event, and the music is fun, and, and everybody can sing along, and there's a lot of back and back and forth, and um, this is one, one of the highlights of, of the season for me, always to do this run of Magic of Christmas, because all of Portland and surroundings are involved. that phrase it's as close to a party as we get do you sort of feel that in your role oh absolutely I mean uh, it's it's an honor to, to be up here to, to perform with the PSO uh, you know Christmas time is one of my favorite times of year obviously so to get to kind of ring in the whole holiday season uh, in such a sort of bombastic way is, is uh, it's so exciting for me and uh, just excited to be here it's my first time in Portland as well so it's kind of a big mix of exciting uh, exciting events you sort of broke out as a singer when you were still a teenager. How old were you when you started to sing in a fairly serious way? Uh, so I was about 15 years old uh, when I uh, entered the uh, Michael Feinstein Great American Songbook competition. Uh, and I really only entered because I wanted to meet Michael and I had a love of this, uh, this classic music, uh, which is, in my opinion, some of the, the best music that's uh, from uh, America in the last hundred years or so. And, uh, you know, I really only w entered because I thought maybe I'll get to meet him and then I ended up winning that year and then Michael kind of took me under his wing and took me on tour with him for several years and we got to go all over the country and work with different symphonies and performing arts halls and venues and stuff. So, you know, I've really developed such a, a love of this, you know, this classic music and so much of that is uh, intertwined with the holidays as well. So it's it's so great when, you know, two worlds get to collide together. Well, it's we to interesting that you use that phrase, two worlds colliding, because this is something that you don't get to enjoy often uh, when you're conducting and when, when the musicians uh, from the PSO are playing is that you sometimes you, you have a guest vocalist, but often it's just the instruments. Not that there's anything wrong with the instruments, but it does add a new layer when you have someone on stage singing. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we work with uh, choruses, of course, and, and, and singers, but it's, it's a different different style. I mean, he sings a very different style. We sing mostly with, with operatic voices or um, oratorio is a little bit more uh, classical, but and I was classically trained. I wasn't I was in, uh, in boys choir for, for, for eight years, but mm -hmm. it was like a more straight, straight tone and stuff. Very, very different, you know, mm -hmm. like 16th century, 17th century stuff. Mm -hmm. And you have a very, very much more elegant and very, very different, different oh, style, you. of course, yeah. Americans are ele elegant, so, yeah. <laughs> you ever sung any 16th, 17th uh, century music? Back in, back in uh, chorus in high school a few times. <laughs> <laughs> what is the basic program this year? I know that, that there, every year there are some of the classics that you bring back, but then you also make some changes. What can people expect this year? Yeah, so so they can expect you know basically the best of the holiday holiday movies. Of course, Home Home Alone is there. It's a Wonderful Life, um, Mir Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. I mean, really beautiful um, uh, movie music from the golden age of Hollywood. You know, from the from the thirties and the forties. Um, and then we have like the the um, some some of the orchestra classics. Uh, Nutcracker, you know, Waltz of the Flowers, uh, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, um, Parade of the Wooden Soldiers, and then we have, of course, the, you know, the things that we do every year, the traditions, like the sleigh ride and the sing-along, and so... <laughs> then 
what is uh, very different this year or new this year is you know to introduce kind of these these these, uh, these arrangements of, of famous singers Sinatra, Nat King Cole, etc., Bublé, uh, with uh, with with Nick, like the the American Songbook, um, ca uh, caroling. Mm -hmm. I would say, yeah. yeah. Before we go, complete this sentence: the greatest Christmas Christmas movie of all time is. Mine is, uh, my answer would be Home Alone, actually. Yeah, I, I am a huge fan of that movie. And it's, so, it's such a weird one to, to, to love, but uh, it, it was my grandpa's favorite growing up, so we always, uh, my siblings and I would always watch that with him, like right after Thanksgiving, so it's got a very special place for Eckhart, me. Eckhart, same question. The greatest Christmas movie of all time is? I'm sorry, sorry to be boring. I like Home Alone. And because, <laughs> because also the music makes such a difference. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, John Williams was the composer for that. Yes, absolutely. Great. It's funny and it's entertaining, and you know, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you both for coming in, Nick Eckhart. We appreciate it. The Thank Magic you. of Christmas, presented by the Portland Symphony Orchestra. Two shows on Friday, two shows on Saturday, two shows on Sunday. We've got information about the shows, tickets, everything else that you'll find in a link in our website and app, the 207 section. Stay right where you are. We're going to return in just a moment.